Yo guys, it's Cortez here, and today I'm bringing you Quick Tip Tuesday. Um, this is something that I'm going to be doing every Tuesday, and what they're basically going to be either it's what it's going what it says it's going to be like Quick Tip, or sometimes I'll actually bring you guys like a full on tutorial. But just for this first one, I'm going to bring you guys a quick little tip that'll help you guys out a lot. Um, I'm sorry for the late upload. I just got out of work like literally 10 minutes ago rushed back home to make this video for you guys my hands smell like fish which is kinda gross because of all the sushi and crap um, but anyways I'm just gonna do this video for you guys and I'm using my trackpad so I'm sorry if you guys hear the clicking and stuff um, I don't have my mouse on me right now so I'm doing my best to bring you guys this video for today and what it basically is gonna be is the fastest way to bring an, any image like any logo from Photoshop to Cinema 4D so you can make it 3D. Um, this works for any logo at all, anything whatsoever. Um, you can use whatever you want, any curved lines, anything like that. This will work a lot better than having to go through and show you like what I guys showed you guys like last week with the pen tooling without having to go pen tool every single thing and then make that a work path. There's actually a lot easier way. And this is how you do it. Um, you come to your layer that you have your logo on, you're going to want to make sure your layer is just one layer. So like, if you have, if you're, if you're working on a logo for someone and you like have a bunch of layers together, you want to make sure that you merge those layers so it's just in one. And then you're going to come here and right click on the image part, not the text part over here, on the actual image part. And then you're going to go to select pixels. And what that basically is going to do is gonna select all the all the pixels that you have in that layer which is why you need to put it all into one layer and then you're gonna come over to your rectangle marquee tool or whatever you have selected here it doesn't matter you're gonna select that come and right click on the pixels like in the middle of the pixels you're gonna come here and then you're gonna do make work path and you're gonna put the tolerance to one what that's gonna do see if I hide this you have your work path right there and it comes out all smooth and nice um, you can mess with the tolerance if you want but when you do that you just come edit uh, is it edit? I think it's file yeah my bad file export paths to illustrator and then you're just gonna press OK and then you're gonna save it under what you want and then you can bring that straight into Cinema 4D and then you're good so anyways guys um, this will probably be a weekly series depending on how much time I have to bring it to you guys. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah.